Okay, we're back for part two of the block room video, and I promised someone I would show how to uh, glue one of these segments together if your cuts were not exactly perfect and still be able to come out of it. So what we're going to do is midway, there's 16 blocks, so it's at number eight, we're going to put a little shim in here, like so. You could use a piece of uh, cardstock. This is some uh, edge banding veneer I happen to have laying around. But we won't glue up either end or in the center, but the rest of it will get glued up, just like we started out. And this rim uh, is intended for an 8 inch rim. I want to build some banjo ukuleles with 8 inch rims. But I think I'll probably change to uh, using 8 blocks because the smaller the diameter, the more critical the uh, cuts become. So it's just a little tough and the blocks are quite small. Okay, all the glue is on there, set that aside, and we have our little shim in the middle here, so I'm going to roll this thing up like so, and bring it over here and place it on this disc, and then put the other little shim in right here, and kind of draw this thing up together. And the blocks, the hose clamp, like that, tighten it up a little bit. Sandwich it together. Finish tightening. Okay, take it all apart. Okay, tighten this one up just a little more because I couldn't really reach in there. And then clean the glue off, and you can see. Now how the two areas are open here where I put the shim but all the rest of the joints are tight. So later on when this dries we'll take that apart and sand this flat so that the two surfaces mate. You could do it either you know, with a, a fence, on the fence of your saw with a piece of sandpaper or on a belt sander or a disc sander, whatever it takes to even up those two pieces and that'll save you. But I probably won't show the rest of the process, but I think you'll get the idea from that. Okay, this is the uh, second part of the ban block rim banjo video. Uh, see, I've got all my rims here glued up. These still have the clamps on them. I have some others. I've removed the clamps. Now I'll just take the tape off of them. I can find the end here somewhere, right there. And the tape peels right off. And the next thing we have to do is to like flatten these out. You can see they're not too bad right now the way they made up, but they are not perfect by any means. So it's very important that these are flat 
on both sides when you glue them together with 3-6. So there's several ways to do this and I'll show you this is how I started out was with this piece of plywood with some sandpaper glued on it and just going like this so, so you get it, get it flattened out. So you could do it like that or you could put this paper on your table saw table or any other number of different ways but the way I do it now is on the belt sander and I'll show you how I do that in, uh, as soon as I can get it set up. Another way that would be a good way to do it was, would be with a uh, drum thickness sander. I have one but it's only 10 inches so it doesn't work well but if you had one wide enough to accommodate the rim going through it, it would make the job much easier. Okay, I've got my sander all set up here. With this sander, it's a jet with a six inch wide belt. Uh, the whole belt part of it folds down to being in the horizontal position. And I've made that even with the uh, bed here of the table. So you can see that it's, well, it's pretty close to being perfect. This, this end is a little better, so for just to show, I'll do the sanding right in this spot where it's sitting pretty good. And what we will do, I'll explain all this before I actually do it because it's going to be real noisy when I turn on the dust collector and the big fan behind me and this sander all at once. So the idea is to hold this segment of the rim like this and the pressure is applied here at the table and it's rotated while the sand is going. You have to kind of watch your fingers and when you're doing a whole bunch of these it kind of wears on your fingers. I've tried to do it with gloves on but it uh, tends to chew up the ends of the gloves pretty quick. I have a little better control with just my hands. So I take a brief pause here and uh, turn on all this equipment, make some noise and show you how I sand these up. Okay, we're ready to go. 